Hi, my name is Scott Register and I manage Ixia's ATI processor and today I would like to show you some of the new enhancements we've made to application forwarding. You'll see these improvements in ATIP release 1.1. So you're familiar with the ATIP dashboard, I'm assuming from previous uh, videos or blog posts. And uh, so I'm just going to come here and create a new filter. So the first app I want to find is Facebook. So I'll just create a filter for that. I'm not going to restrict any geographies, but I think I do want both Facebook mobile and uh, the desktop version. So I'll accept those. Now I'm going to forward this traffic and to forward it, I'm going to assign it to a VLAN. And in this case, I am going to pick VLAN 4010, save this as a filter and I'll call it Facebook. The next application I'll pick, maybe I need to do some debugging because uh, some of my users in South Korea are having problems with LinkedIn. So I'll just pick South Korea, I'll accept that, and uh, for the application, again, I will pick, uh, we'll go with LinkedIn. Okay, and this I'm going to forward to VLAN 4011. Maybe I'll also want to generate NetFlow on this traffic and send it to my uh, NetFlow collector. Okay, so I'm going to save this as a new filter. And for my last choice, maybe I'm interested in grabbing uh, all email traffic. So I might pick, uh, let's say, IMAP. And uh, SMTP. And I'm going to pick both uh, plain SMTP and secure SMTP. OK, so let's accept those. So I'm going to oh, uh, forward this, and we'll send this to VLAN 4012. Now I save that as a filter and I'll call it email. So now I'm going to switch over to the NTO UI now that I have uh, these, um, these new filters set up. So I'll come here in the NTO UI and here I will assign uh, the ports that I'm going to use for the different types of traffic. So here you'll see I've set up Three, uh, three different tool ports, one for uh, traffic inspection, maybe I have some kind of DPI engine. I've got a troubleshooting tool on port 11, and then I've got a DLP device on port 12. So I'll come here to the dynamic filter where I've assigned my ATIP resource properties. Go to app forwarding. So as you'll recall, I uh, sent I said Facebook traffic is on VLAN 4010. And so I am going to send that to port 10, my inspection port. And now I'm going to say I want my LinkedIn traffic, which is on port 4011, to go to uh, a troubleshooting tool. That was the users in uh, South Korea. And then for the last entry, I'm going to say that I want all of my email traffic to go to my DLP device. Maybe for some compliance reasons, I need that set up. So I just say OK. And you'll see here in the UI, I've got traffic aggregated from multiple ports. Going through the dynamic filter, we set up the app forwarding rules in ATIP. And here you'll see on the UI, we clearly mark out, oh yeah, email traffic going to the DLP device on port 12. Facebook traffic going to port 10 for my inspection box. And then LinkedIn traffic is going to port 11 for troubleshooting. So it's really easy to set up a filter, pick the applications you want, and then decide where you want them to go. Back here on uh, the ATIP UI, if there are actual traffic going through here, I could click on Facebook and see exactly uh, how much traffic was passing that filter. So I can quickly see exactly 
how much traffic I'm forwarding, what operating systems the users were coming from, what IPs they're going to, uh, where are my clients, what IP addresses are, uh, are they at, and here I can even track it down to a specific user, hey, in Austin. All right, that is my quick demo. Again, please contact sregister at ixiacom.com if you have any questions. Thank you.